Darkness. It envelops us each night, wrapping the world in a blanket of mystery and stillness. A familiar comfort in the vastness of space it offers a canvas for our dreams and thoughts. Yet have you ever stopped to ponder its nature? What is this darkness that we encounter so often? We flick a switch and light floods the room, banishing the darkness in an instant. But what exactly are we banishing? Is it a force, a presence, or something else entirely? What is this elusive entity that seems to vanish with the arrival of light? It's almost as if it never existed. Darkness isn't a physical entity like a table or a chair. You can't touch it, move it, or feel its weight. It doesn't have mass or occupy space. It's not something you can hold in your hands or measure with a scale. Rather, it's the absence of something else. It's a void, a gap waiting to be filled. It's the absence of light. When light appears, darkness simply ceases to be. Think of it like this. Silence is the absence of sound, a moment of peace in the cacophony of life. And coldness is the absence of heat, a chill that creeps in when warmth departs. Similarly, darkness is simply the absence of light. It's not an entity in itself, but a state of being. As we navigate through life, we often encounter these absences. They shape our experiences and perceptions. Darkness, silence, coldness. They all remind us of what is missing, what could be. And in that realization, we find a deeper understanding of light, sound, and warmth. So next time you flick a switch, take a moment to appreciate the dance between light and darkness. For in that fleeting moment you witness the delicate balance of presence and absence, of being and nothingness. And perhaps in understanding darkness we come to appreciate the light even more. For it is in the contrast that we find meaning, and in the absence we discover the true essence of presence. Imagine a vast empty room. Now imagine there are no light sources whatsoever. No sun, no lamps, not even a single candle. What would you see? You would see darkness. This is because there's no light to reflect off objects and reach your eyes. Our eyes perceive the world through the reflection of light. When light bounces off an object and enters our eyes, our brain interprets that information as sight. Without light, there's nothing for our eyes to detect, and we perceive the absence of that light as darkness. We know that light travels incredibly fast. It's so fast that it can circle the Earth more than seven times in just one second. In fact, it travels at the fastest speed possible in the universe, a speed that nothing else can surpass. This speed is known as the speed of light, a fundamental constant in the world of physics. The speed of light is approximately 299,792,458 meters per second, or about 186,282 miles per second. This speed is so fast that it's hard to even fathom. To put it into perspective, if you could travel at the speed of light, you could go around the Earth seven and a half times in just one second. Light from the sun takes about eight minutes to reach Earth. This means that the sunlight we see is actually eight minutes old. So when we look at the sun, we're actually seeing it as it was eight minutes ago, not as it is right now. The farther away an object is in space, the longer it takes for its light to reach us. This delay gives us a unique glimpse into the past. For example, when we observe distant stars or galaxies, we are seeing them as they were millions or even billions of years ago. This phenomenon allows astronomers to study the history of the universe and understand how it has evolved over time. The speed of light also plays a crucial role in the theory of relativity, proposed by Albert Einstein. According to this theory, as objects move closer to the speed of light, time itself begins to slow down for them. This effect, known as time dilation, has been confirmed by numerous experiments and has profound implications for our understanding of space and time. So, the next time you look up at the night sky, remember that the light you see has traveled vast distances across the cosmos, moving at the ultimate speed limit of the universe. It's a reminder of the incredible scale and wonder of the universe we live in, and it all starts with the simple yet extraordinary speed of light. Now if darkness is the absence of light, does that mean it also has a speed? Can darkness travel at the speed of light, chasing after it and trying to catch up? This is where things get interesting. Darkness doesn't travel in the same way that light does. Remember darkness isn't a thing in itself, it's the lack of a thing. It's like asking what's the speed of emptiness? Emptiness doesn't have a speed because it's not a physical entity that can move. Section 5. Flipping the Switch the illusion of speed. Think about turning off a light in a room. 
It's a simple action we perform countless times, often without a second thought. Does darkness spread across the room at a certain speed? When the light goes out, it feels as though darkness is rushing in to fill the space. It might seem that way, but that's just our perception. Our brains are wired to interpret the sudden absence of light as the presence of darkness. What's actually happening is that the light is disappearing and the absence of light is what we perceive as darkness. Darkness isn't a force or a wave, it's simply the lack of light. Imagine a race between a beam of light and a wave of darkness. Picture it in your mind, a bright, energetic beam of light on one side and an ominous wave of darkness on the other. The light would win every time, not because darkness is slow, but because it's not a participant in the race. Darkness doesn't move or travel, it just exists where light is absent. Darkness simply exists where light hasn't yet reached or where light is no longer present. It's a passive state, not an active force. This concept can be applied to many areas of life, where the absence of something is often mistaken for the presence of its opposite. When you flip the switch to turn the light back on, the room is instantly illuminated. The light travels at an incredible speed, filling the space and pushing the darkness away. This rapid transition from darkness to light is a powerful reminder of how quickly change can occur. In an instant what was once dark and obscure becomes clear and visible. Light and darkness coexist in a delicate balance, each defining the other. Without darkness, we wouldn't appreciate the light, and without light darkness would be all-encompassing. So the next time you turn off a light, take a moment to reflect on the illusion of speed and the fascinating interplay between light and darkness. It's a small, everyday action that holds a deeper significance, reminding us of the unseen forces at work in our world. Section 6. Darkness and Shadows. Two sides of the same coin? Shadows provide another interesting perspective on this concept. When an object blocks light, it creates a shadow. Does this mean the shadow is moving at the speed of light as it changes shape or position? Again, the answer is no. The shadow itself isn't moving. It's the boundary between light and the absence of light that's changing as the object blocking the light moves. The shadow is a consequence of the light's behavior, not an entity in itself. Section 7. Cosmic Expansion. Outpacing the Darkness. Let's take this concept to a cosmic scale. We know that the universe is expanding. Does this mean that darkness is being stretched or outpaced by the expansion? Once again, the answer lies in understanding that darkness isn't a physical entity that can be stretched or outpaced. The expansion of the universe simply means that the space between objects is increasing. Darkness or the absence of light will always exist in the vast regions of space where light hasn't yet reached or where light is absent. Section 8. Black Holes, Where Light Surrenders Perhaps the most intriguing example of the interplay between light and darkness lies in black holes. These cosmic behemoths possess such immense gravity that not even light can escape their grasp. Does this mean that darkness resides within a black hole? It's more accurate to say that a black hole represents a region where gravity warps space-time to such an extent that light is trapped. The absence of light emanating from a black hole is what makes it appear black, but darkness itself isn't a property of the black hole. Section 9 Beyond the Visible, the Electromagnetic Spectrum It's important to remember that what we perceive as light is just a tiny fraction of the electromagnetic spectrum. This spectrum includes radio waves, microwaves, infrared radiation, ultraviolet radiation, X-rays, and gamma rays. Our eyes are only sensitive to a narrow band of this spectrum, which we call visible light. Just because we can't see other forms of electromagnetic radiation doesn't mean they're not there. Section 10. Human Perception – The Limits of Our Senses Our understanding of darkness is inherently limited by our human perception. Our experience of the world through our senses. Our eyes have evolved to detect a specific range of electromagnetic radiation. Other creatures on Earth have evolved different sensory capabilities. Some animals can see in the dark, detecting infrared radiation that's invisible to us. What we perceive as darkness might be a vibrant world of light and color to these creatures. Section 11. The Enduring Mystery Darkness and the Unknown In the grand tapestry of the cosmos, darkness remains an enduring mystery. It's a concept that challenges our understanding of the universe and the limits of our perception. While we can describe darkness as the absence of light, its true nature continues to intrigue and inspire us. 
Perhaps the greatest lesson darkness teaches us is that the universe is full of wonders that lie beyond our immediate grasp, waiting to be explored and understood. What other secrets does the darkness hold, waiting for us to shed light upon them?